Now, in this part of the question, part D, we've got to write down the mode of the distribution for T. And earlier I drew the probability density function, the graph of it, and you can see that when we're looking for the mode, it's the one with the highest probability. And that value is given when t equals 10. So no wonder we could write it down, it's just there. Okay, so the mode equals 10, or modal value equals 10. Now for the next part, we're told it's suggested that the probability density function f of t is not a good model for the random variable t. t, remember, is the length of a telephone call made to a company. Okay, and uh, we've got to sketch then a graph of a more suitable probability density function for t. Well, it's going to look something like this. We'd have our axis here, t, okay, and we'd have this as being f of t. The time of a call is going to be zero otherwise out here, but I would suspect that you know there's not going to be many calls at first taking up much time, so this is going to rise here fairly slowly maybe. Then there's going to be a kind of time where most people, most calls are, you know, a common average time here. And then it's going to start to fade away. There'll be occasionally a few longer calls. So not really sure how long they're going to last, but they could, in theory, carry on for some time. So I see it as a distribution, something along these kind of lines. All right? 